Hello everyone, this is test 6 module 1. Okay, so today we're gonna do uh, even number questions. Okay, yeah, here is the first question number 2. Alright, Jake is hiking a path. Alright, after hiking k percent of total length of path. From here, for example, okay, I'm not gonna go past today. Okay, yeah, k percent in left or right. 5 kilometer left using this one okay now from using these two information we're gonna find okay total length of here maybe first you can use this method total length you can use uh, x okay I'm gonna use uh, this is x kilometer but 5 kilometer actually 100 minus k percent that is uh, Five kilometers. Okay. So what is that? Maybe you can use right uh, algebra. The total length is x times hundred minus k percent is a hundred minus k, not x k over hundred. Right. That is a k percent. When you multiply this one, this is 5 kilometers. You can use this formula, okay? So what is the value of x? 5 over this one. 5 over 100k over 100. That's the reciprocal, right? So 5 times reciprocal is 100 over, flip the number, right? 100 minus k. Okay, 5 times 100 is 500 over 100 minus k okay choice b is the answer or you can use the proportion too this is 5 kilometer is actually 100 minus k percent 5 kilometer that is for the what 100 minus k percent but total length is x there but total length percentage is 100 percent that's it, right? So, you don't need a percent of you. Okay? So, cross multiplication. 5 times 100. 500. Divide this one. That is equals to x, right? Cross multiplication. 100 minus k. Okay? You can use by either of this method. Here is number four. Lx is thirty thousand plus seventy five x. So first we can figure out what is the L. Okay, the L is cost. Why? Right? That is the total cost. I think right. Okay. Yeah. That is the total cost. Is Lx. Right. Combined by of two different cost. Right. Start up first. This is a startup, okay? Build by store or any other way facilities, okay? Fix it, that's $30,000. Addition to that, 75 times X. What is that? X is not number of craft. This is number of craft. So what is this one? That is the total cost. It's going to be another cost, but this cost is actually what is that? Cost y to make one craft, which is a slope, right? Okay, that's the meaning. Okay, seventy-five actually slope, right? When you make a graph, this is thirty thousand. We start from this amount increased, right? Every increase by one, one increase that one craft, that increases seventy-five. Okay, that's the slope. This is what the cost to make each craft. Choice C is the answer, okay? Number six of you. Here is number six. Survey as shown in table. The results summarized in table, okay? Yeah. How many books they read in a year, okay? So five students, they are not going to 
read any books. A student, two books, something like that. What is the median number of books? This is data, right? This is the frequency the number of students. Simply, right? Where is the median number? Total that is 13, 25, 35, 50, 60 students there. Okay, who is in the middle? Uh, to find the middle, first, last, and divided by 2, 30.5, right? So between 30 and 31. So check it out. This is 13 people, 25. Okay, six more, right? But 10, they belong to over here, right? Yeah, this number five is a median number of books, okay? Choice, uh, the answer is five is the answer, okay? All right, move on number eight. Where is the number eight? Here. Okay, which borrowing equations represent a group and the x, y plan? Where y is always positive? Why is always positive? The graph is well, over the x axis, something like this, right? Or something like this. Or something like this, they are all what? Gradient y equals 0, right? Which is the x axis. The first check it out minus x squared plus 1. Minus x plus 1. Y intercept is 1. The graph is going down, right? Yeah. This is a positive. The other side, too. The other two sides are negative. That is not working. Square root x plus 1. Where is the graph of this? Square root plus 1. When x equals 0, y equals 1, that is our starting point, which is considered as the vertex. It's like this. Okay? This one is 0 and 1, right? They're all positive. Choice B is the answer. What about take the number C over there? Absolute value is minus 1. Y intercept is negative, but still, this is a turning point by right? vertex. This is negative. X squared minus 3, minus 3, okay, here. Vertex at X equals negative 3. Still, this is a negative, right? Okay. Choice B, always greater than 0, okay? Here is number 10. What does 4X squared? This is the, not X squared, not X. 4 times X squared. In terms of P, what is that? Times 4 is there, 4P. You're going to find the x squared. From here, you can find the x squared, right? That's the best way. x plus 2 times x minus 2 is x squared minus 4, isn't it? That is equal to 4p. What is the x squared? Plus 4, both sides, 4p plus 4, right? But they're asking you 4 times x squared on the line over here, okay? Sometimes we forgot. 4 times over, times 4 is 16p plus 16, right? That is equals to 4x squared. That's right. Yeah. Choice D is the answer, okay? Here is the number 12. A ball is thrown upward from the top of the tower. The equation is Leading coefficient is negative. Okay? When t equals 0, that is 20. You know that x of symmetry is positive, right? Because x of symmetry, t equals, I'm going to t equals, what is that? b, right? Negative b, negative 10 over 2 times a, 2 times negative 5 equals to 1, isn't it? When this is 1, that is the highest point. That's the graph, right? So we're going to find the maximum height in meters. We're going to find this y coordinate of this vertex. This is x. This is y. How can you find this? Put this number, because this is x of symmetry, right? When you put this number, x is 1, you'll get the value of y, okay? When t is 1, h over 1, how much? Negative 5. t times 1 is 10, and plus 20. 25 is the answer, okay? 
this is 25 when x is 1, right? Here is number 14. A restaurant manager has allocated 1,500 for the buying a new plate. The manager needs to buy at least a one-tenny plate called by a bulk discount. Okay, small plate, $10 each. Okay, you can this one. That each. Okay, large one. $15 each. What is the maximum number of a large plate? I'm going to take this large plate to X, but at least minimum, minimum plate requirement, right? So it should be more than these numbers or equals 120 to have, right? Berg discount. So 120. 120 minus X, that is the number of small plate. So the budget is about 1,500. It should be less than or equals 1,500, right? Okay, 10 times this one, how much? 1,200 minus 10 times x is about 10x. And the plus large plate, 15x, that should be less than or equals 1,500. 5x, all right? Minus 1,200 there is about less than minus 300, right? When you divide by 60, the maximum is equal over here, right? The 60 is maximum number of large plate, okay? 60 is that. So here is the number 16. Total 9,000 invested on annual interest, 2 percentage annual, we said the AIR, right? A compound is the calorie. The formula is what? Calorie is what? 1 plus 2 percent is 0 0.02. This is for the one year. Calorie is divided by 4, right? When this one, this is number of quarter, right? Number of quarter. 10 years. How many quarters? Each year says 4 quarters times 4 is 40 quarters there. That's the answer, okay? But this is total amount after 10 years. But that's when you find what? Interest. Original starting amount to 9,000, right? Yeah. Interest. Yeah. Take up this 9,000 again. That's going to give us interest rate, interest amount. Okay? So where is it? Choice C is the answer, okay? So next number 18. Here we go. Concert hall cost of performance when this sitting cup has the 200 people. Ticket price 75 to sit in front. I'm going to front. It's going to be $70 each. Back. A little cheaper. $45 each. Table. Each seat, right? Okay. Total rate 200. So I'm going to find what total revenue from ticket sales is 12,000. We need this amount, right? Okay, when you, they are all filled, occupied, right? The total is 200, okay? But how many sit in the back? This is x, total is 200, 200 minus x is the number of seat in front. Okay, now total is 12,000. 75 times 200 is 150, 100, minus 75x, and the plus 45 times x, 45x, that is equal to 12,000. This is like terms negative 30x equals minus 150, okay? 15,000, so negative 30,000, right? When you divide by negative 30, it's going to be equals what? 100, right? Okay. Choice B is the answer. Right over number 20 down over here.
the linear equation is given. 0 of x equals cx plus 10. In the given equation, c and d are constant exit variable, okay? g of 1 is 4, g of 4 is 18. When x is 1, this is 4 here. That means what? When x is 1, y is 4. When x is 4, y is 13. That's the graph. What is the value of g of 8 minus g of negative 2? Where is 8, negative 2? Around 8 is over here, negative 2 down over here, right? It's going to have the same slope. Using this one, I'm going to set up, set up, set up the right the slope formula. g of 8, that is y2, minus y1 over x2 minus x. This is x2, this is x1 over here, inside the number, right? 8 minus minus 2. That is equals to slope. What is the slope? Using these two points, you can find the slope. Slope is equals to what? Using this one. 13 minus 4 over 4 minus 1, right? That is 9 over 3 equals 3. That's the slope. Same slope is going to be 3. But we're going to find the value of this. Okay? How can you find the value of this? This is 10, isn't it? 8 minus minus 2 equals 10. So 3 times 10 equals this one. That is equals to 30, okay? That's the answer. Here is the number 22. A sector has a central angle 3 pi over 4, right? That is 135, right? This one is 3 pi over 4. That is radian degree. This is sector. Center will be okay. Circumference of the garden is 100 meters. Circumference is 100 meters. What is the arc length? This is arc length. Sector is the usual. If they didn't say, always minor arc, right? Okay, remember this one. What is the length of this? A, B. Which has a central angle 3 pi over 4. If this is R of your arc length, L equals what? R times the angle in radian, right? R times zero. That's it. Where is R? We don't know anyway. R, L equals what? Is R times zero is what? 3 pi over 4. How can you find the R? From here, you can find it. Right? This is 2 pi R equals 100, right? What is the R? 100 over 2 pi. That is R. Okay, I'm going to put this one, R there, and times 3 pi over 4 again. That is the length R collects L. This is out. 300 over 8. Yep, 37.5, right? You can use your calculator, okay? That is number 22. Here is number 24. Uh, okay, number 24. Here we go. f of x minus 2 plus a, that is the value of y. This is the graph of this one. But we don't know, right? What is this? Some functions there, okay? But we can figure out because what? The graph of this is given. What is the graph of this one? y intercept is negative 4, slope is what is it? 2, you know, 4 over 2 is 2. So the equation of this one, y equals 2x minus 4. So this is 2x minus 4, f of x minus 2 plus 8 equals 2x minus 4. That's it. So from here, we can find the x minus 2 equals 2x minus a both side, negative 12. So from here, how can you find the f of x? Replace x with what? x plus 2, right? Now you got the way f of x. So, f of what? x. x plus 2 minus 2 is f of x. 2 times x plus 2, 
and minus 12. That is f of x. 2x plus 4 minus 2 is 2x minus 8 is the function of what? f of x. Okay? Choice A is this. Remember this one, okay? Here's number 26 over here. We have a box plot. Class A, Class B. Yeah, we have two different class over here. So based on this information, which following statement is true? Class A performed better. Okay, usually we use a right, median over here, right? This is median is about 75, this is about 85. And also this is skewed to the left, this is a little skewed to the left. But still, this range you can see there, right? This is a 40 to 100, this is what, 65 to 100. Right? Okay. Class B is performed better, right? On average, all the point is over here. This is not good. But you gotta check right there, variation, which is a kind of what? Standard deviation. Usually the variation, we use this one into quartile range for use what their variation, okay? Well, also someone use what their range, okay? For the variation, it doesn't matter. Anyway, this one is very large. This one is very small, right? So variation is small, okay? So class B has uh, less variation in score, right? Yeah, choice C is this, okay? Okay, that's all this. Uh, and test the six module one, okay? I'm gonna see you in next video, module two, okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.